This year marks the centenary of the birth of Sean O'Casey. He was maybe the most important social catalyst that Ireland produced, translating the great problems of politics and poverty to the stage and making them understandable. The path of the prophet is really smooth, and Sean had a particularly bumpy road to travel in his native land. Eventually, tired of it all, he left us and went to live abroad. But while he left Ireland, Ireland refused to leave him. It is a very odd thing, and maybe a little eerie, that while I am in body, soul, and spirit, many miles away from you in a foreign strand, my disembodied voice should be strolling through the streets of Dublin, or roaming over the hills and valleys of the land I was born in. The voice is a bit husky now, for it hasn't spoken in a place larger than a room for the last 20 years. The voice of Sean O'Casey as Dublin as the day he left us, quite unaffected by his years in Devon and elsewhere. It was often said that he had deliberately turned his back on Ireland and wanted no more to do with it. But it wasn't true. In fact, he proposed a philosophy for us, that we should not be forever looking backwards with anguish, but rather looking forward with joy. Ireland herself should be gayer, more hopeful. I try to say this in some of my plays. Her memory too often flashes back into a graveyard. Her chiefs didn't die to bring her down with them, but to lift her heart up in spirit and in truth. The sun isn't always setting over Bula Vogue. We should make the graves of our chieftains gay and not keep them somber. A cherry tree, an almond tree, or even a red hawthorn should bloom over the grave of Wolf Tone. We need a gayer heart of Ireland, even where the graves of our great dead lie. We've seen the wedding and the wake, the pottin' and the fair, the laid young frames, the dear old games and the kindly Irish air, and the loud hurroo, we have heard that too, and the thundering clear the way. Ah, gay old Ireland, dear old Ireland, Ireland boys hooray. Follow Yari, Ace Yuri, Agasera, Will and Yeranilla. Amen. <laughs>